You know, uh, we wear all engine gear. I feel it's the best. And um, we've got the strongest in the world, five out of the greatest ten totals ever made, including number one, male and female. And what, that's why we wear Enzo gear. We have, the, for the best lifters, we wear the best gear. Uh, now I'm going to get Joe Jester, who's um, been at Westside for over 15 years, and Dave Hoff, the greatest power lifter, strongest total in the world, best coefficient of all time. They're going to demonstrate how we do wear gear. So pay attention, and I hope this helps all you novices that's never been in gear. And uh, to get you in gear like you should be. It's a gear sport now. It's not a raw sport. Uh, Benchers came out in 1985. So I'm not driving a 1985 car. I drive a new car. So the squat suits came out about 76, and they weren't very good. But through technology, everything became better. Without technology, you'll never in increase your strength. So all sports use technology to lift bigger weights and run faster and to jump higher, and so should you. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up? This is Dave Hoff out of Westside Barbell, all-time record holder in the total. This is my friend Joe Jester here, training partner, and we're going to show you guys how to wrap a new Westside style. Today we're going to be using the Inzer Gripper Wrap. Inzer sends us these. It's the best knee wrap in the world. Um, what we're going to do is we always start. We never wrap in because when we're squatting, we always want to push our knees out when we're in the hole. So if we go down into the hole, we don't want our knees coming in because that's how injuries happen. So Joe's going to take my knee and we're going to wrap out. When you pull over the very first one, make sure you're going straight over, not at an angle. So lay straight over the leg. When you get over here, make sure you're pressing back down here. Go back part. through. You're going to be on this line right here. You're going to be pulling back up. On, across. on the gripper wraps, there's three lines. We always follow the, the bottom line on the way down. So watch. And for me, I usually count about, with a three meter wrap and such as this, I count about seven down and we go seven up. So Joe's going to, and when I get to the kneecap, that's a very sensitive part. We go tight around the knee when we get to the kneecap, especially I do. As you can see, Joe's at the bottom of the knee. Once you get to the bottom of the knee, I like to go down one more time just to make sure that the knee wrap doesn't come up when I'm in the hole. Because how many people love that experience when you're going to squat and your knees are sticking out of your knee wraps? Yes. So as Joe comes up, he goes up and across. He comes up at an angle like this. So we're at the top now. Well, and we tie it off. I guess. Now what's cool about this is when you hear him up. When you, when you get out of a squat and you know everyone's racing to take your knee wraps off, with this way, all you gotta do is pull it and then walk your knee wrap off. It falls down. Yeah. So that's one way to wrap a knee. Try not to keep the knee wraps bundled in a short area. All it does is hurt your knees. You space it out, it feels like a cast. Correct. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna do it, we're gonna do it straight through so you can see it real fast and it, so it gets done real quick and you can see how to do it. So. Just following the line straight down. Right at the bottom of the knee, wraps it off. On the way up. And usually when you go to tie this, see how Joe's holding it on the side? If you ever lose your grip, somebody holding it here will prevent it from all spiraling out. You tie it off. Just like the last time. When you're done squatting, you take it, pull it, and it wraps right off. That's how you do a knee wrap west side style. Dave off here at the West Side Barber. We're gonna show you how to put on a bench shirt the West Side way. We use the Enzer Super Duper Phenom. That's our bench press shirt of choice and probably the safest if you want a big bench press. So 
First thing we're gonna do is we put both arms in at the same time and we face them relatively straight on. We'll pull the bench shirt up and he'll see how he's wedging in it. Then we'll go, then we'll go one side, left side. The object of what we're doing is trying to pull the, the whole bench shirt up and then we will set it last. So we can start with the sleeves. Make sure that the best thing to do is get them even when they're all the way up. Then what we'll do is we'll come around to the front. Now, see how his arms are like this? What we'll do is he's gonna dip his chest down and raise it up. Go ahead and lock your arm. And that's pretty much how you set a bench shirt to start out with. Once now, you get it set, make sure you apply the pressure out your elbows so the shirt don't come up or down. Yes. Also, sometimes, sometimes if you get a, a sleeve that's too long, you'll want to give them a roll. So my bench shirt personally will roll. Everybody should roll about, about a half of an inch. If they're real tight around there, you might actually want to cut them. Yes, or get them, or get them shortened, right. because if you pinch the bicep tendon, you're gonna, you can cause nerve damage. So, right here is the the West Side Borbo way we put on an Inzer Super Duper Phenom. Dave Hoff here at the West Side Borbo. We're going to show you how to put a squat suit on the West Side Borbo way. First, first, our first brief of choice is an Inzer Predator. We usually get two ply grit stitch. That's what we use. That's what makes big squats. Squat suit of choice for West Side is the Enzer Leviathan canvas squat suit. Typically what you'll do, you can you might need a couple of friends, but this is how you're gonna do it with two people. Now sometimes when you get when you get briefs that aren't so tight in a squat suit that is, you'll you'll want to slowly pull the squat suit up so your so the legs of your brief don't roll in your squat suit. That always leads to your legs going numb, turning purple, and not being able to squat. That's good. All right. So after you get it up about like this, see how it's it's tight on him. Best way to do we use we use a mono lift, of course. Go ahead and wrap the straps around the squat bar. Go ahead, Joe. Kind of kick your legs out in front and let your butt fall down in the squat suit. And turn around, do the same thing. Drop your chest. Get up, get up on your tippy toes. Yep, good. Good. Once you get the squat suit up, typically when we start out, we just lay the lay the straps over. Get them across down in the front. And the happy, I'll go ahead and hold them. Just to pull them tight like this, not too tight, just pull the slack out of the strap and lay it over. And that's how you put a squat suit on the west side barbell way.